I'm Sebastian Moody. I'm a Mianjin Brisbane-based conceptual artist. And I've been invited back to participate in Open Studio at Queensland Art Gallery, Gallery of Modern Art. It's a really lovely return for me. Uh, I was a museum guard here many years ago, and this is a fantastic way to be back uh, working with the gallery again. Art to me is about moments, not things. And so the Open Studio is a really concise, thought out way of uh, facilitating moments for visitors. And by that I mean that they don't go in there and necessarily make anything physical, but they're doing an activity in their head that will hopefully lead to some kind of peaceful contemplation that will uh, order their thoughts a little bit and hopefully have a, um, you know, a moment of mindfulness and, and quiet. Um, I think that this is the most important thing that art can do because I think that it's about slowing people down and getting people to think. I first became interested in conceptual art when I was a teenager and that was really the result of asking a question, what is art? And I couldn't understand why paintings that were just blue, for example, could be you know, thought of as art. And so this really set me off on a journey to try to understand what this thing called art was. I'm very much a, an outward facing artist and by that I mean I'm really concerned with how people understand the work and I try not to have any deliberate um, end point of what I want people to think about it. I want people to think about how they have come to that decision. The orange uh, has been a really interesting discovery as part of Open Studio. Uh, when I was looking through uh, the Quagoma Research Library, I found that a lot of Fluxus artists had used the orange in their work. And in particular, there was a work by Bengt F. Klimtberg, which was peel an orange and line up all the pieces in a row. And I really love this work. And there's something about the simplicity of it and you don't get more everyday and absurd than an orange. And so I kind of thought, wouldn't it be great if we made a giant orange inside the gallery that we could slice up and then turn into cushions for people to sit down and relax on. The Pelican Lounge where the artist studio is situated is an incredibly beautiful space. It has these massive glass windows which uh, look over the water outside the gallery, which architecturally links to the water mall inside. And in fact, put the mirrors in specifically to maximise the amount of water in that space. Um, and then also through the use of lights and music to make an environment that when people come inside it, they would slow down. I think that Fluxus artists, if they taught us anything, was that it was really important not to take yourself too seriously. And it was certainly important not to take art too seriously. And I think... Um, this is something that, you know, the irony is now is that Fluxus art and conceptual art have thought of these really kind of highbrow levels of art that are impossible to understand unless you have a degree in art, where really what they're trying to get at is that anybody can access art and that anybody can be an artist. Robert McPherson's work is incredibly um, influential on myself. Uh, I had the opportunity to look at it while I was in the research library, and in particular, I was looking at the correspondence between Robert McPherson and Peter Tyndall, and they shared this amazing kind of postal correspondence of art. And you'll see in the gallery, there are these gardening gloves with stamps on each of the fingers. And I think this uh, perfectly fits with what we're trying to do in the open studio in terms of it's about a flow, it's about an exchange. There is um, the exchange of ideas going back and forth between the two artists. The, the fact that there's the destination or the end point for an artwork is not the most important thing. Um, it's about an exchange of ideas and it's about, um, it's about the act of, of making the thing and doing the thing rather than trying to finish up with a painting on a gallery wall. Art to me is about moments, not things. And what I've tried to do with the Open Studio is set up an opportunity for people to 
conduct a kind of aesthetic exercise and then have that little artistic moment with themselves. And um, hopefully they take that feeling and some of those ideas and can apply them to their everyday life.